really beautiful people. Okay, you'll have to forgive me if I'm a little bit quiet because I'm a bit, um, I don't know if my neighbour is upstairs or not, so it's fine. It'll be fine. Um, so what I wanted to talk about today, because it seems to be the running theme, is um, love and being worthy of love. And um, after a few days of quite difficult releasing of a lot of issues, um, I suddenly felt as if I was turning a corner and um, I've been having some absolutely amazing visions um, at night time and having these really profound healings and connections and things. So I'm just waking up in just profound joy really. Um, and as I woke up today I just felt so happy and I felt like everything is going to be okay and everything's going to work out and that we're supported from above and that they're, they have everything at hand and we just have to listen to what they're saying <laughs> rather than use our egos to try and figure things out because it's all going to be okay um, and I just opened the windows this morning and looked out and the um, cherry blossom on the trees was just um, floating its petals down and it was just such a beautiful image that it just filled me with so much joy. This beautiful new earth, new heaven. And I just wanted to show you some of my treasure from the other day. I found this on the beach, it made me happy. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, basically my theme for today, um, like I've been watching some movies and videos and doing some meditations and they all seem to be coming together and the theme is um, how you can love someone including yourself first so unconditionally that you're willing to let go of um, I don't know, just willing to let go completely, <laughs> not willing to let go of anything, just, I guess, just your, yourself to um, embrace all that you actually are, and all that you actually are is love, because it is your, um, your true being and there's nothing in truth that you need to do um, to be worthy, but we are... Um, we worry and we think that we need to be better than we are, especially if we're searching for love in another, we think, am I pretty enough, am I good enough, do I have enough to offer that person? Um, and I think when you can reach a state of love that all you want to do is just to um, honour and see the beauty in that person and that just brings you profound joy seeing people stepping into their power rather than feeling that you want someone to love you because it makes you feel better about yourself when you flip it on the edge the other way around and all you want to do is give love not expecting anything in return obviously having um love be, um, I don't know if the word recuperated really works, um, we acquainted, you know what I mean, um, is incredibly beautiful having that divine balance, divine partnership, um, but just being able to admire the, the beauty in another person is just um, beautiful within itself. Um, and on this journey we're going to learn that love is um, unconditional and sometimes you surprise yourself because um, love is not just the knight in shining armour, the um, fairy tale and I think that archetype is coming back because um, love can be that beautiful and magical um, but love can also be hard in that 
you're willing to sacrifice your own happiness for a time um, because you want the people around you to experience that unconditional love as well and you're willing to work with people and work together to work through issues to um, get to that state of unconditional love um, and a lot of um, like soulmates and life partners on journeys together will reincarnate together again and again because um, they're not each other's divine um, one and only but they have a profound loving friendship that they wish to um, teach each other lessons and to settle karma um, from past lives so to um, help each other get to a stage where they can experience the most pure divine love and to come back to source and come back to all that they are and sometimes um, love is willing to let go and to say that it's not um, in your best interest to try and search for love within one partnership and that it's run its course and that the next partnership will teach different lessons and things so um, love can be very fluid and um, effortless and rather than a lot of love at the moment is people holding on to each other very tightly and saying we are married now therefore we've got to work through these issues forever um, and I'd love to think that um, once you work through all these issues that you can have an everlasting beautiful love um, I think that fairy tale's beautiful um, but we've also got to honour the love of where we are in the here and now and what that also has to teach us so um, I'm just going to pick a few angel cards shall I put this up here there we go so I hope that makes sense what I'm saying but I think that when love makes you so vulnerable breaks you down and all you can feel is just your heart just your heart um, expanding then that's the most beautiful state to be in and it doesn't matter what the outside circumstances are or worrying about the future or where things are going just being in that state of pure unconditional love with source in yourself and the love of another um, is just a state of bliss, paradise. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> so, the card I got with me saying about being worthy of love and worrying that you're not good enough is judgement. And it says, let go of your fear of being judged. You are good enough. It is time to unlock all that you have kept safely locked away in your heart. Your true essence and potential has been restricted by structures and methods for long enough. There is no right or wrong way, just be you. Yep, that's pretty spot on. And um, I'll just choose one of these as well. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't really make sense. <laughs> Career transition. <laughs> Um, however, um, Archangel Chamuel is the um, is the angel of um, unconditional love. So there you go. And um, so yeah, I think just on this journey, it's just to um, always come back to yourself, to love yourself and all that you are to love your body, to love this journey that you've been through and to love all of your flaws and imperfections as well like I look in the mirror and think oh I've got spots and I've got bags under my eyes and my hair's frizzy and I have to just keep 
building down those barriers, letting go of those fears that I'm not good enough. Um, and just be seen in all of my vulnerability and know that I'm still lovable as I am and that I can love myself as I am in the first instance and then others can love me as I am 